Time to remove the snow grate from the intake. Let's see. Ah, shit, fucking bird poop. Okay. Oh, okay, this needs to come out of here. Sorry. Oops. Oh, wait, this is the RS, right? So the. The body to release on this car is on the other side. This is the stupidest design thing I've ever seen. So here, passenger side you release the bonnet. Wonderful. Let's see. Okay. So to remove the intake, you need to put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight screws you need to remove. Then this whole unit will come off and they will access the filter, put up the filter and put out the snow grate from under the filter. So I'll just put the camera somewhere so we can see it and move on from there. Okay, so we got the camera mounted. So for tools, this is the screwdriver you get with the car. This should be good enough to remove all the screws. So let's start with one of the screws. Just be careful with the removing the screws because they might fall into engine bay and then you have a problem. Now in the old old Skoda intakes, these screws wouldn't come out of the housing fully. I don't know if it's the same case over here. Yeah, looks like the same case. So yeah, so no need to worry about the screws falling out because they don't come out fully. They stay stuck in the top part of the intake. So the way you know that the screw is fully done is you unscrew this, keep on unscrewing it. Till it becomes really free moving and then you try to lift it, it comes out. Yeah, screws. Okay, same thing. That's one, two, three, four done. Few more to go. I don't have my full toolkit here, so this is doing this. Okay. I don't know if I need to remove this or not. We'll see. It's a vacuum line coming in from the engine intake manifold apparently. So One more to go. Yeah, okay. The, the intake is now loose. Put the screwdriver away. Let's see if I can lift it away. Okay, I think I'll have to remove this. So. This one you can just pull off and keep to the side, it's an empty line, just make sure nothing goes into it. And we are going to now see what is the intake. This is the intake cover removed. This is your air filter, so you can just pull it off as plastic and paper. The air filter pulled off, just keep it in a clean place, so you can already see how much stuff is sucking in. So this is your intake grate, so it's called a snow grate, so it's supposed to prevent snow that comes in from your intake side over here from getting stuck into the intake so you can see how restrictive it is so in India we don't get snow so we should be able to do without it and when it's with it removed it should really improve the flow of the intake because this is a very very restrictive system so you just need to remove it I think you just pull it off yeah as simple as that so yeah that's the snow grate So removing this should give you a lot more airflow. You can see the air box over here, it already has a drain over here which if you accidentally suck in water it will it'll 
accumulate over here and go down. I'm not going to the intake. This is all closed up. So, yeah, very nice. Okay, so that's done. Now what we can do is we need to put the air filter back in. Put it back in, it just pops back in. Put the cover back in and we'll just screw in the screw in the screw. Just align it properly. Make sure everything's alright. And just screw it back in. Okay, back with the screwdriver. Just wriggle the screws a little bit so they fall into place. Remember this plastic going on on plastic, so don't over tighten it or something. Just get it snugly fit. Yeah. I'll tighten every one of them later on to one small resistance tightening. I mean, this seems like a pretty cheap and easy mod you can do to your car to free up some airflow and hopefully make the turbo work a little less harder to suck in the air. And we'll see if this, imp I mean, we'll see if this improves your power. I shouldn't improve it. I mean, it, you should feel the improvement in acceleration. At least that's what I've been told from various forums I've read and various videos I've seen. Let's find out. I can tell you one thing that the engine sound, the turbo sound will get a lot better after this. Because that's a huge muffler also. So all that sound muffling of the sound will go away. Two more screws to go. Yeah, don't go crazy tightening on these screws. Just make sure they're snug. And you should be good to go. Okay, one more to go. I'll just tighten this down. Yeah. Just a quick check on all of them to see if everything is tight. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, all good. Now, last but not least, don't forget to put back this vacuum line. Just put it back in here, it goes into this nipple right now. Easy. So there, done. So now, let's see, let's try to start the car and see how it sounds. 